Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Olivia. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing well. And it has been a while since my last colors along or tutorial videos on YouTube. Uh, I really miss you guys, but a lot of things uh, had happened and I wasn't in the right mindset to do any of uh, videos on YouTube. I wasn't feeling very safe for a long time. And so um, for the comeback video, I'm going to do a color salon for this book. It's a Word of Flower by John Hannah Basfus. And the page that we are going to do colors along together is the this page if you remember i have a separate video on um, how my experience with vocal backgrounds and i go through with you how i sort of like colors in this page and if you like to check that out is on my channel um, and that is uh, for the tutorial and the uh, color pencil that I'm gonna use is a Faber Castell Polychromo pencil and I did pay attention a little bit um, on YouTube there is quite a bit of videos on uh, how to do color combination with the Prisma color but there is not a whole lot of video with the uh, Polychromo so I really want to share with you guys um, how we can do leaves and flower combination with the polychromo that you know you when you colors a lot of leaves uh, you get boring so I will show you some of my favorite combination for leaves that you can kind of like rotate it when you colors so without further ado let's get started and the first thing uh, I want to mention is uh, at the start I want to do a colors along you know like just do for like an hour or you know uh, for the first part and then the next pack next part we do another one so I did film a little bit of flower first but then I decided to just turn this uh, the whole video into just a leaves color combinations but I will just go through with you a few of these flower that I cut I already color because they are quite simple so yeah it's gonna be really quick so the first um, flower that we're gonna color is at this little one I'm not really sure what they are maybe they are daisy you don't know um, and I want to make them sort of like the purple pinkish colors and as you can see I start off with a mauve colors uh, the color name is mauve and it's a purple colors and I just sort of like add it at the end of the petal and then I going in with a pink color which is a fuchsia and just kind of blend that purples out and adding on top and as you can see I still leave a little bit of white at the top of the flower petal because we're gonna adding in a light cadmium yellow and the color combination that I use uh, is from the polychromo but if you want to use Prisma color or you want to use any color brand that you have you are welcome to do so and um, I'm, I am here just giving you an inspiration a you know like a little bit uh, of guide for you that you can use it with your own color combinations and you don't really have to use the same colors that I do um, maybe you won't have exactly the same tone of or the same shade in your uh, smaller set of pencil but you know obviously you gonna have every every pencil set will have a pink or purple or yellow so you can do that so it doesn't need to be exactly the same as I I am coloring now and for the second flower if you pay attention earlier I did um, start off with the pink first instead of the purple because I just want to show you that 
the way you do it is gonna give you a little bit of different look uh, if you start with the purple first the flower gonna look more purplish and if you start with the pink first the flower will look more pinkish and for the stamp I gonna go in with the earth green yellowish also from the Prismark up uh, polychromy so all of these color combinations will be listed in the uh, description box below on the channel uh, on the in the video because uh, the, the reason why I didn't list it on the video is when I color I tend to layering so I go back with the same colors over and over and it's gonna be quite a bit difficult um, a bit annoying when I you know editing the video <laughs> so th this way when I do this um, it will be quicker for me to put out a video for you guys so the color that I'm using now is a chrome oxide green and it's just a darker version of the earth green yellowish and as you can see I put it down uh, at the bottom of the stem or where it connect the main stem to the little one and yeah that is it um, the reason why I put the color on the stem is because when I color the background with the Prisma color, the Prisma color is very opaque, so it sort of like go on top of the black light art, and it make everything look quite like uh, not muddy, but it's like very blurry, very faded. So that is the reason why I did it. Uh, so now I just gonna repeat the step over and over. So. Um, gonna be a speed coloring and uh, I will come back in a minute and we're gonna color the second flowers As you can see we are done with all the flower now and I also adding in a black colors uh, any black pencil will do and I just adding a tiny tiny bit in the middle of the flower and at the bottom of the flower just to um, you know uh, improve the shadows a little bit make it a little bit darker so it doesn't look too flat um, it's just a personal reference uh, I couldn't really stand just how flat it was looking so that's why I adding in a little bit of black but it's, um, it's personal so you don't really have to do the same and now we are doing the uh, this little flower that's next to the purple one and I'm gonna do them a blue bluish colors and I going with first with the sky blue in the middle of the flower just a very light brushes you don't really need to press it because uh, we do want to keep the middle is nice and light but I do still want to have it a little bit of color there and I going with the ultramarine uh, and we just gonna go around the flowers uh, not actually go into the the, the the middle but just like outside around the, the flowers and as you can see I try to blend it in with the light color in the middle a little bit but not too much because now we're gonna go back with the sky blue and just blend everything out and that is how simple it is you just 
just like that and then lighter we're gonna add in, in some you know just white shell paint at the end and make it look more magical but for now i really really want to keep it just nice and blue and for the stem i have here is a chrome oxide green again it's just the same as earlier we used for the first flower and i also just gonna filling in uh, not filling in just go over it uh, with this pencil with all the stem because it looks so faded it's annoying me so much i don't know if that anyone uh, feel that way <laughs> And now you are done with that i gonna go in with a walnut brow which is a brow color so it's quite dark brow color and uh, if you pay attention to the flower stem sometimes they have a little bit of brow at the end so that's what i do uh, i just adding this brow at the end of the stem and where it connect uh, you know where it bloom out into other smaller stem and flower so uh, you're gonna color the other flower exactly the same as well done with all the flower and the stem uh, this flower have a little bit of leaves sticking out so we're gonna color that in as well and the colors that I pick for these little leaves is using the chrome oxide green at the star and uh, again you just gonna add it in just a little bit uh, no at the end of each leaf is very very tiny so it no point to adding more than three colors um, i think two color would be really plenty enough for it and now we're gonna go in with the cadmium yellow lemon and just add it in at the tip of the leaves and just blend the chrome oxide green out
that is all the flower we did for this uh, first part of the colors along now it's all gonna just be leaves and the first leaves that we're gonna do I'm gonna go in with the permanent green olive and again you kind of color in the stem um, and also just at the bottom of the leaves so, so it's gonna be really simple it's mostly blending for these simple leaves is um, I don't really like to do anything different and I'm gonna go in with the chrome oxide green just this is a darker color so I'm gonna just adding in just at the bottom very very tiny bit and blend it out with the permanent green olive of course you can go back in with the permanent green olive just to blend out the darker colors I'll make it nice and blendy and then you're going with the cadmium yellow lemon which is like uh, very similar to the leaves earlier we did but instead we only have two color we have three colors so you're adding in just some middle colors for these leaves so during this video you will see a quite pattern that i'm gonna repeat using the chrome oxide green and some repeating colors for other leaves combination the reason why I do that is because I want, even though the leaves, we have a quite a bit of uh, a lot of leaves in this one, and even though we want them to have something sort of different from each other, but we still want them to have a harmonized look. It's gonna look uh, like they belong to the picture and not stand out alone too much. That's why some of the color will be sort of like a main color. I'm gonna repeatedly using them even though other color will be different. And the way that I do the leaves will give them a different look. So it doesn't look like you're gonna just use the same color combination over and over. Now you are done with the first leaves. The second leaves, it got, we're gonna use quite a bit of colors, but um, a very, very similar to the first one. And I'm gonna go in with first is the permanent green olive, which is exactly the same as the first one. But uh, you can see these leaves have like separate um, sections. And Johanna already like colors in, not colors in, uh, drawing in like, different section for the leaves and as you can see I just do in one section at the time and each section you're gonna use the permanent green olive and just go around it and as you pay attention I'm gonna leave a little bit of the white on top and also a little bit of the white in the middle and so uh, you're going with a 
sort of like a medium medium light pressures and as you go toward the middle of each section you lighten it up you fighting it out so other color lighter color can go in as well and you're gonna repeat this step for all the leaves or uh, all the section of the leaves Now you are done with that one. I gonna go in with a my green, and this green I go really really light, really light pressures. It's like just like blushing it into the area where you leave it white. And so we're gonna use this one as a base, uh, middle color to blend a cadmium yellow lemon on top of it. So if you're gonna go in straight away with the cadmium yellow lemon it might look the the area the transition area between the first color the permanent green olive and the uh, cadmium yellow lemon gonna be a little bit too obvious it's gonna be look a bit harsh so after that i'm gonna go in with the chrome oxide green which is a you know the green that you may pay attention that i have been using for each uh, of the combination so far with all the leaves and stem and it is a really really um, how do I say very useful green to do is as a dark you to to intense the dark area and make make more shadow and so you're gonna go this one in but mostly around just the edges as well not so much going in the middle After you're done with that dark green, you're gonna go in back in with the permanent green olive just to blend the dark green out a little bit. And all the colors that I'm using and the pressure that I'm using is all quite light pressure, medium to light pressure. I didn't really press hard that much because for leaves color, I tend to do re a, a quite a bit of layer, not like a lot of layer, but quite a bit of layer because I want all the color blend together and create a different kind of look different kind of the colors um than the the actual color pencil that you just use and after that you're gonna go in back in uh just with the cadmium yellow lemon or the my green just to blend out everything you don't really need to go back in with the my green the my green is just for the base color um, just make it help it to to cre create a nicer transition and now uh, I'm gonna go in with the pie green pie green 
all the color that we have using so far is actually a warm tone green tower more yellow so the pie green which has a cooler tone will help it to create a, a really really nice effect and then i also adding in a little bit of black pencil just like right at the middle uh, and the bottom where is a lot of shadow is so just intense uh, it a little bit and the folded area where the leaves sort of like folding in, in itself i'm gonna go in with just a permanent green olive and as you can see i leave quite a bit of white area and i can go in a bit the uh, my green just a little bit and also i'm gonna go in with the cadmium yellow lemon so we want it to be a light area there and you can go in a little bit with the pie green as well as I do just at the top and the, the bottom of the leaves uh, of the folded area and that is it for this leaf it look really effective after you you do it uh, the way that I do it is look more shiny isn't it it looks shiny and it look like the leaves have more dimensions and the other one you just do exactly the same
before the sleeves of the flower right here we're gonna do it um, more on the cool really cool tone of the green and so i'm gonna go in with the earth green and this green as you remember i don't know what's that um blend called but it's have a really like a wintry look and i really really love it because then we have been doing quite a bit of warm leaves warm color green leaves already so i want to use this one as a you know just bracket a little bit and after the earth green you're gonna go in with the juniper green and just adding in the top and the bottom and as you can see i still leave a little bit of white in the middle a little bit of white on the edge as well and then you go in with a green color just color in the area that we left it white in the middle and then you can go back in with the juniper green just enhance it a little bit it's always better for you to go in light first and then add it more color in add more layer in as you go it's better than you going it with dark and then it's really gonna hard to fix it and you can just blend it out with the earth green and then i'm gonna go to adding in a chrome oxide green again it, which is it is a uh, quite a warm tone one but we just add it in because we want it to like as i say earlier we just want it to like connect to each other and you do the other side exactly the same we're going with the earth green first and then juniper green and then you're gonna blend it down with the cream for the middle and uh, the chrome oxide green to enhance the shadow adding in a little bit of warmness for it warmness is that even a word i don't even know and if you pay attention i did leave a little bit of white stripe in the middle just a white light um, so is give a little bit of interest when you color these leaves or flower remember where you leave the area for highlight it may help your colors um pops out more and more interesting to look at then you know everything is color and now after that um, you can leave it this way it look absolutely fine uh, but we will also go in with a color go in with a color called green gold This is a green gold color so it's like a yellowish green so it's a really really nice color it's a lot warmer than the color we initially put down but i think it uh, makes the contrasting for the leaves and it's make it stand out quite a bit along with other leaves as well <laughs>
And now for this aloe vera looking leaves I don't know why it reminds me of aloe vera But I'm gonna go in with a permanent green at the start And I'm just gonna color it one side of the leaves Just one side and we leave the other side just nice and white So we can add in a really light color later And then as you can see I'm blending it out Blend it out with a light green and going in with the ivory for the white area that we left and then I'm gonna go in with a pie green pie again pie green is a is a cool green so if you pay attention until now you can sort of see if the majority of the green that I pick for that leaves is more on the warm side then I'm gonna draw in in a dark cool tone green for the shadow and you know vice versa uh, if I have a lot of cool tone for the leaves then I draw in a light or a Usually I like warm tone for the highlight So it just um, make it more interesting to look at And that is it with this leaf, it's very very simple Oh and also after this we're gonna put a kind of red color A caput mortem I don't know if I said that was right And we're just gonna add it in at the top of the leaves and you must think that all these ladies must be out of her mind because she adding red into leaves and leaves must be green but if you look at real photography sometimes you can see other colors uh, on the leaves as well just not just green and I also use the ivory just to blend it out and now for the next leaves we're gonna go in first with the left green just at the bottom it's gonna be quite a simple one uh, it's just gonna be like a you know monochrome sort of style colors if you don't know what monochrome is you should watch my video on how to pick color for your coloring page and there I explain what is monochrome and then I going in with the light green just blend out the left green it's really really light color and then the, for the top bit, you go going in with an ivory colors, very very light and nice And then you adding at the bottom is a pie green again Which I already explained why <laughs> And after you do this, uh, you also bring the, the pie green a little bit in the middle the vein of the the leaves a little bit in the middle so it's look like the lace is sort of like deep in the middle and it look a bit puffy than just the flat surface and you can also use a little bit of black pencils as well just adding in where is the most deep shadow because it look like the leaf this leaves was under the flower so uh, it can help you to enhance the shadows a little bit more and after you put the black it's really important that you always always blend the black out with all the green so uh, it doesn't look too too muddy there and all i did is just blend out with the left green that we already used or the pie green and then going back in with the green color to blend everything out
for this uh, little one behind the big leaves i gonna go in with a my green first and just a little bit on the side as you can see and you going in with a uh, darker um, not darker the uh, yellow which is a light cadmium yellow which we already used at the beginning and then a little bit of the olive green yellowish just at the bottom make it a little bit darker so um, these little leaves I would give you an advice if the area you colors have a lot a lot of leaves so for the big leaves i would tell you like oh maybe you pick a specific combination color for those leaves so it's standing out um, by themselves but for the little leaves that was like uh, in the middle of the whole pictures uh, is really important that you should have like a pick a color that you was using for the big leaves so uh, it blend in a little bit and it not standing out too much it's not make your pictures whole lot busy and now for the big one we're gonna going in first with a left green and as you can see see uh, depends on how you want to color the leaves you can sort of like make the color fading it out from dark to light but i will add it in um, i will color the way that it look like it have the lightest area in the middle so it look nice and shiny leaves so for the left green you mostly add them in uh, add the colors in just around the leaves and if you pay attention, John Hannah Basswood already draw the little vein for the leaves, so you can use you are gonna use them as a guide, and you are gonna leave like each section, divide them to each section, and leave a little bit of white in the middle of each section. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense for you guys. And as you go tell what a tip, we're gonna color just the the top the tip out of the leaves a little bit not too much and you're gonna do the same for the other sides as well Now I'm going in with a cream pencil, uh, the color name is a cream, and just adding in where the area that the area that you think is, uh, you left it white. So you don't have to do the same as me, but just a section, you leave a little bit of the white for the lighter color to go in, that is all you need to do. And now I'm going in with a deep cobalt green, which is a uh, really really cool green more on the cool tone um, and we just gonna add it in for the shadow especially for the middle of the leaves and also bring it around the outside area as well just on the edges of the leaves and also uh, you're gonna add it in just kind of like go over the vein of the leaves so you enhance the 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 vein a little bit and now you go in back in with a, the leaf green at the star so you can just blend out the deep cobalt green else a little bit more but as you can see I still not really touching 
the area where you left it light because we want those areas to be light. And after that, I gonna going in with a my green. And the my green is also a warm tone just like the left green. And we're gonna blend out the colors a little bit more. And you're also gonna add the my green in the middle vein as well, the main vein of the leaves as well. And after that, you're going in with the chrome oxide green. Just add the, in the you know the bottom of the long vein in the middle, and then I adding in a little bit of the light cadmium yellow just a little bit just make it a little bit more yellowish where the highlight is and now i'm gonna go in, in back in with the uh, chrome oxide green and i'm just going to bring uh, also the chrome oxide green just around the edges of the leaves any area that you want to add more shadows in you add these colors in because it's the darkest colors in our combinations so it will do really really good job as adding more shadow for your leaves And after that, you are pretty much done. You can just leave it how it is. But I also gonna adding in a tiny bit of black. And these black colors are just use it sparingly. Uh, just a little bit around the main grain and uh, mostly in the middle of the leaves. So we make it really, really like dark in the middle and just around the the area where the petal kind of go over the leaves a little bit and i'm gonna go back in with the left green as well just to blend the whole thing out together And now uh, you can stop it right here. Everything will do the same for these leaves. You don't have to do adding anything more. But if you want to, you can add in a little bit of the caput motium, which is a sort of like a red brown. Earlier we adding for the other leaves, so you can add just in a little bit, very very lightly, blushing it in you can see and uh, it doesn't really require which area you add it in just like randomly and after you add it in the the red pencil uh, you can use the ivory just to blend it out a little bit so it's kind of like um, blend in with the green and not standing out too much and that is it for the big one now for the next leaves this one down here the tree one i gonna use uh, my green first just as in the middle of the leaves it's gonna be a simple one but i think you will like this one i really really like these leaves as well and this combination i usually use when i don't i i feel like all of them is look too green so i'm gonna use this one to just break off the green a little bit and adding some more other colors and after you adding in the my green you're gonna go in, in with the chromium green opaque just adding in just the middle a little bit for shadow remember when you color leaves it's really important that you adding in a shadow like a dark color for the middle of the leaves so it's make the leaves look nice in 3d not 3d but like more dimension than just like a flat surface and then you can blend it out again with the my green just to make it nice and blending and then i gonna go with the caput uh, motium again and as you can see i just adding straight outside the 
uh, the edges of the leaves. So we're gonna we're gonna make the leaves look a little bit like is uh, drying out. That's the word I think is like a dry dry leaves. And as you can see, I still leave a little bit of white area um, between the green and the the red color. And you can now go in with an ivory and then just blend the whole things out together. And after that, you can also use the um, go back in with the uh, chromium green oil pick and just adding in some more colors uh, just make it look nice and dark and that is it for this one Now, as you can see, uh, at the end, after you do all the coloring, I also use go back in with the mod, the caput modium, and you sort of like a do a flick motion, and just flick it toward the inside. It's make more interesting texture. And now for another big ones uh, right here, just underneath those one that we just did, we're gonna also color them in section. But instead of leaving the light area in the between, in the middle, we're gonna do it just half, leave half uh, of the section is a light color. So I have here is a permanent green olive and as you can see i just adding in just half of the leaves and using also uh, just medium colors Me a medium color what i'm talking about medium light pressures <laughs> and as you can see i do all a little bit of the curves just follow the shape of the section of the leaves as well and now you're going in with the light green and you blend that out And you're gonna go in with the ivory now and just adding in the lightest spot that you want it to be. And now I have the chrome oxide green again, and I just gonna enhance the uh, dark shadow, just adding some shadow there. And you can go back in with the permanent green olive and the light green and, and the ivory uh, just to make the blending nice and smooth. 
and you're gonna pretty much do the same thing for all the section which is just gonna repeat it for everything but at the end when everything done is look really really impressive After you're done with everything, I gonna go in, in with a dark petal green, and this is a warm, uh, not warm, a cool tone green, and I just gonna add it in just a little bit on the edges of these sections, not so much, and I also don't didn't add it in like every sections as well, just a little bit, so it's make the colors are uh, nice and pop, pop. <laughs> And now I'm going in with the black pencils again and you almost uh, just concentrate in the middle of the leaves and just around the surrounding area where uh, the other leaf was on top of this leaf so it creates a little bit of shadow there and so it make it a little bit more dimensions to look at more interesting to look at than just you know the two leaves because it looks like it just stick on top of each other instead of like having uh, like a spy in the middle and that is it for this one what do you think do you like how it turns out i really really like how that one look and now if you pay attention um the lighting is changed because i was filming this for over about three hours and because it is still sort of like a uh, autumn uh, time in australia so the light gone out pretty quick so uh, when the light change like this is it at night time so it is a little bit uh, darker than the other one but don't worry it's still this you can still see it and now for this leaf right here I really really want it to make it red so I gonna I going in first with a 
uh, middle cadmium red as you can see and you leave a little bit of white at the bottom and in the middle and then you go in with a cadmium orange that's it and you put a little bit of caput mortium just right at the edge on top of the leaves and you do the same for everything so on this uh, beside a green leaves that we have here as you can see go through all the leaves um, all the color combination that we did I some of the leaves I adding in a little hint of like a brown red or the caput mod the caput motium so I think it would be really really nice if we break some of the green with a red colors a red and orange or yellow color so that's why I starting to bring in some of the red colors and we're just using this bright color for the small leaves because we want uh, the next time when we do the flower we're gonna do the flowers really bright and nice color so you don't want to make the leaves too bright and nice and it's gonna make the flower uh, not standing out as much and so for these little leaves right here I also gonna adding in a red colors as well so I also the middle cadmium red but instead of a uh, cadmium orange I'm gonna add in the dark chrome yellow later for the tip so it's gonna be a sort of like uh, an orangey yellow ish uh, not exactly yellow but not exactly orange but it's very very close to a, an orange <laughs> an orange sort of like yellow so uh, these colors you can find it in pretty much any other set I remember this color I have it when I use the Fibro Castell classic 40 I set the one for the student quality one and these two the red the dark red and the uh, the yellow cheese the yellowy oranges is uh, one of my favorite combinations now for this uh, two these two little tiny one right here I'm gonna add in a little bit of cadmium orange at the start just at the tip of the leaves and I'm gonna go in with the light green blend it out and you can stop right there but I'm gonna add it in a little bit of permanent green olive just you know like the dark area where the shadow is and that is it for that one very very simple and for these grassy looking leaves I gonna go in with a my green first and um, it's gonna be a bit hard to see with this small one because it's right of where the area with the background is sort of similar colors but uh, after the migraine you're going in with an ivory just at the top bit and then a chromium green opaque at the bottom so that is very similar to how you did with the previous leaves um, and so here i show you a little bit easier to see again just migraine and you leave a little bit of area at the top so you can add in a, an ivory and then you go back in with the chromium green or pick just at the bottom of the leaves
Now for this little one right here, again, we're gonna make it into red. So we're gonna add it in the red first, the cadmium, middle cadmium red. You can use any other red if you want to, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just use this mid middle cadmium red because the butterfly I did uh, had a very similar colors that's why I use this red just to make the whole picture tie together it doesn't really have any uh, particular reason why I use this red just for the leaves it's not it's because I want to reuse some of the color that I already done you know use throughout the entire pictures the red you go and go in in with a cadmium orange so uh, very very similar to the red leaves that you saw up there For these little leaves right here, it look a little bit like the lily pad, um, and so I'm gonna make them uh, a little bit oranges and green color. So we're gonna go in first the light petal green, just on one side. And sort of like fighting it out as you go. And now you're gonna go in with a permanent green olive and go on to the other side. So uh, for these leaves, you can sort of change the positions or where you add this color a bit lighter. You don't have to do this exactly the same for each leaves. Uh, it will just give you a little bit of variety when you're looking at, even though they're the same combinations. As you can see, I just blended these two colors together. And now for the side of the light petal green, I'm going in with a dark petal green just to make it a little bit of darker colors. And I also bring it down as well because this leaf was like behind the, the the leaves before in front of it and of course when you uh, bring it out you have to blend it out back out with the light pad look green and now i'm going in with a cadmium yellow a uh, cadmium orange a cadmium orange and you're gonna blend this green and the orange together really really nice and light hand pressures and as you can see for the middle of these leaves I leave a little bit of white now you have two options you can use an ivory and make it really really light there or you can go in with a cadmium yellow lemon and make it sort of like an um, just a nice green picking tree also it's a nice color nice and light color as well but it's give you a different look and now I'm just going back in with the permanent green olive just you know uh, a little bit more precious on it make it look a bit darker and that is it now for this leaf I will show you if you're gonna adding in a an ivory in the middle it will give you a little bit of different look so you can use both of them at the same time um, I, I mean not at the same time but like for the whole bunch of the same leaves you can use this, that method to just make it look a little bit more you know just a little more exciting to look at then then it's just not the same for me when I do a lot of leaves it just repeating a lot of them 
I get really bored. I get really upset. <laughs> It's not upset, but I just get sleepy when I color it. for the the middle part and as you can see it just like a little bit more brighter and it look a bit nicer now after that I gonna adding in the deep cobalt green deep cobalt green I really cool tone green for just around the top bit of this leaf and of course around the shadow for the behind leaves as well And that is it for the main color of this one. For the outliner of the leaves, we're gonna going in with the permanent green olive at the star, and and you just gonna add it into like uh, sections and leave some of the white area for the lighter color to go in so as for example here adding in a little bit on the top and a little bit on bottom a little bit on the side and now for the white area that I left I gonna go in, in with a cadmium yellow lemon and just blend the two colors out together and here you have the whole leaves stem of the leaves I gonna going in with a pie green uh, yes I know it's different 
uh, from the colors of the middle of the leaves but I think it fit them really well so going in with the pie green just uh, where is that the stem started and not actually go through the entire stem so you can do halfway or you can do almost of the way and just leave a little bit uh, where it's close to the, the leaves and I adding in a little bit of my green and that is it for this one very easy isn't it but I really really love how this one turns out is one of my favorite in uh, the for the leaves combinations of course later on we can do like a purple or the blue leaves I will share with you those later but for this one we mostly go with a more normal one but also very like fun one and for this little leaves right here I'm very very sorry for my hand holding the pencil very funny way you can't really see it but all I did was adding in a little bit of um, what is it light cadmium yellow a little bit of that for them for the bottom and then blend it out with a middle cadmium red at this at the top so yeah so very very simple but we just swap the position of the two color this two color we already did uh, for some of the the red leaves at this you know on the top have and it's just the same for the stem we're going in with a middle cadmium red uh, for the for the bottom and blend it out with a nice light cadmium yellow Yes, it is exactly the same uh, combinations as the leaves that we did from the top half and uh, I want to repeat it because the, the look of it very similar so it's no point to make a new color combinations and it's just not gonna be um, you know is no point it's gonna be too many leaves color so it's just gonna be exactly the same uh, if you don't remember what the color is go back to it and you will see what the color that I use for them leaves right here I gonna go in with a my green first and yes the lighting finally changed because it is the morning of the next day <laughs> I did this uh, entire videos in like two days 
two days because I have other things to do too as well. You know, you can't just sit down and just do one video and uh, record and everything as one go. But yeah, so after we adding in the my green, I going in with a green gold or gold green. Uh, for one side and the top bit, we're adding in an ivory colors and it look very very bland like it look very boring we're gonna adding in some darker colors now to uh, create a shadow for it so we're gonna going in with a chromium green opaque and as you can see i left a little bit of the light edges on the sides as well and after that i'm gonna go in with an olive green yellowish olive green yellowish so this leaf is gonna be very very warm looking leaves and you just blend out back out with uh, the my green and the ivories and all that colors that we already use so it's gonna be very very simple like that and we're gonna do exactly the same for the other one But I think um, let's do the you know the inside of this what is this one bucket? No, it's not really a bucket. It's a it's a wooden. Let's say it's a wooden bucket, and of course you want it to be dark. But let's imagine there is moss inside them. So let's say the dirt have a little bit of green so I use a little bit of chrome oxide green as for now and as you can see I just lightly uh, blushing the colors in not really like pressing them or anything going in with a chromium green opaque and just adding that in some of the area so if you follow my uh, tutorial or the tutorial for the the whole bokeh background um, you will find this color sort of like emerging in with the background as well so it make it look nice and dark so it doesn't make it look too um, stand out alone so we can have all the flowers and all the leaves standing out a little bit later once we finish them and after you got all the green done you're gonna go in with a black pencil and I think a lot of people will roll their eyes at me and it's like oh all that effort to adding in the color now you're gonna add in black yes I I do <laughs> I do add in black but we don't really press the pencil very hard so if you do in real life you can sort of see a sort of like a mossy green picking through so it's not like a pitch black you can also use a really dark gray as well you uh, referably warm gray and you can use that to add on top of the green and you can see i don't really add on top of every uh, corner of every green 
uh, area that we adding in with the green we just adding in some of the area especially uh, a lot that around the leaves that you know cover it so it will make it look nice and dark in there so it's give a depth that uh, is really a deep bucket bucket I don't know <laughs> and yeah And after you are done with everything, now is a time to watch the magic happen. Of course, we're gonna use some gel pen. Gel pen is is a thing that cannot be missed when you coloring flowers and leaves. So here, I just adding in some, you know, just a little bit of gel pen, just a few dots, a few lights to make it look more shiny, look it more, make more magical, because. We need a little bit of magicals in our life, <laughs> and I think that will look make the pic, uh, make the older leaves pops out even more and look make it look more nicer. And yeah, that is it for this tutorial. We go through about more than ten color combinations for the leaves, and please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. Follow me, subscribe my YouTube channel, and check out my Patreon if you like to. I have a lot of fun making this video, and I hope you guys are really enjoying it. I will see you guys in the next uh, colors along for this one. And uh, in the meantime, take care and happy coloring. Bye, everyone.